Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for the Banner Saga 2. We are over here with the Raven group, and I think we just got attacked by some dredge, so we need to fend them off. Uh, I guess this is a good group to go with, so we're just going to go with this group and see how we go. Bolvik, unfortunately, is injured, but hopefully not too bad. We have to clear those rocks behind us. Large ice rock, large chunk of ice blocking the caravan's path. So presumably we could send somebody over there to knock those down. I mean, I'd send Bulwark back there, but he's really strong in general. But we've got to send somebody back there. All right, let's put, let's put Bulwark back there. Put these guys up here up front. Uh, you can kind of sit there. You can kind of sit behind there. You can sit behind here. Something like that. Clear those rocks now. All right. You need to come up and just whack on some of these guys, I think. In fact, we're probably just going to use your Tempest. Oh, wait. Did we not move you up enough? Oh, no. How did I not move? Okay, that was just me being dumb. If don't clear this ice way, the caravan will something something. Alright, I'm assuming I can move up and just literally start whacking on some stuff here. Dig, there's an endless sea of dredge coming. Alright, so obviously... All right, we can move you up. Hopefully you can do the whirlwind thing then. Yep. Anybody we want to push back a little bit. Honestly, we probably want to push this guy back here or back a little bit. Probably just do a six armor ignore on this guy. I should probably just gonna mend you because you kind of need to keep you alive, my friend. Maybe over here. Should be able to attack both of these guys with your Tempest. And do basically no damage. Alright. I guess we'll just move up and whack this guy in front of us. Uh, I mean, we could reach this guy way back here, I suppose. But no, I think this is fine. Alright, 
Should be able to do a pretty good swirl wind attack here. How much of this do we need to clear out? I actually don't know. Maybe we got to clear the big stuff back here or something. traps out there. Oh, hatches if not destroyed. Ah, okay. Possible it was a mistake to move him back here. I honestly don't know. Yeah, this is not going well. This is the second. Oh no, his second attack did do damage. I just didn't see that pop up. Now we are getting low on damage over, or on health over here. This is not going well at all. Yeah, we're we're basically done for at this point. So many injuries. Is that everything? Oh, we got one more. Oh, we got several more.
All right, so he's done, but I think we're just about, I was gonna say, we're just about done with all the snow. Maybe that's all we gotta do is clear the snow. We'll give you a couple points here. Hopefully you can just finish this off in one fell swoop here. Now do we have to clear out the rest of these guys? Is that everything? Caravan, caravan can get through, move. All right, so we just need to move you up to deal with this mess. Oh no, there we go, we got it. So that's all we had to do. Now we did take a lot of damage doing that, but we did ultimately get it done. I, uh, I there probably was a better way to do that. I don't know. But we survived, so. Only seven renown. Tons of injuries. I mean, at this point, we've just got to rest. And accept the fact that we're just not going to have food. We've got to rest at least two days. To get most of these guys back. Start losing fighters and stuff, but I mean, it, there's nothing we can do about it. You can almost make out the old ford in the distance, but there's open land between you and it. Oddly, the dredge seem to have fallen away. Some ravens begin slowing and tripping over their own feet with exhaustion. Crummer, the old Varl war leader, speaks up. This reminds me of the ambush I sprung on Talon, the craziest chieftain of men I ever fought. His fighters were all strung out and tired like us. One small trick would have ruined our ambush, but lucky for us, they never figured it out. Um, what are you getting at? Uh, never mind the details, the old Varl says. Let me take some fighters to handle the situation. All right, fine. You're too young to have regrets, Crummer says. I've only had two in my life. One was sleeping too close to a fire in the in a great hall after eating eggs for 12 days straight. I'll tell you the second another time. A dozen fighters take off with the war leader and disappear over a hill. I suspect that some of these guys are not going to come back. Bring us to the old fort. A human bridge that should have crumbled a hundred years ago. We need water and sleep. I want to be able to hear like the voices, but not the music as loud. So I think I'll do something like that. Guess we'll try and get some supplies here. I wish we didn't have to, but we're going to have to. These people will help. Uh, don't attack, I think is what she said. Problem is we have too many clansmen fighters and Varl in this group. So we just don't have... It costs so much money to get food. Shield wall, you say, or think you say. Fatigue hinders your every thought. No one forms up as a large group of humans approach from the buildings near the old ford. A small stout la uh, stout man leads them. Mercenaries, huh? You don't look like you're worth anything, let alone coin. You reach for your axes, but a few spearmen make it clear you shouldn't. Easy, the last thing we need is to spill each other's blood before that dark wall or the dredge get their chance, eh? Dredge, the word echoes in your head. They don't know what they're doing. The man makes a face and even Fulgus lifts her head enough to squint at you. Well, we're charged with keeping this route open for the clans that want went to Arborang, the man says, so we know we're going to be killing as many of those dredges as we can. Threats and commands come to mind, but never make it out of your math mouth. The march, the fighting, the lack of sleep all catch up with you, and you fall to a knee. You try to catch yourself, but gracefully, your head hits the snow. Sensing you're being watched, you leap to your feet and reach for claw and fang, but they're missing. You roar in anger. The short man by the entrance takes a step back. Easy, Bulwark. No one's trying to harm you. You get to your feet, head pounding. Where are the ravens, you ask? I woke you first, he says, but the others need to get up too. I let you sleep as long as I dared, but we're almost out of time. He motions to a side table and you find your axes undamaged. Who are you and what do you want, you ask? 
My name is Hatter, but the, that won't matter in a few hours, the man says. We came from Akur. The, we're rear guard of the clan's army that went to challenge the king in Arborang. With axes in hand, you ask, then what do you want from me? Well, I'm no battle leader, Hatter says. I'm just a skirmisher like all the rest here and proud of myself for not running off already. Plain and simple, you know how to fight, so tell us what to do and we'll do it. We've got fighters who could use some tips or encouragement, Hatter says. Maybe we could build some stake walls with parts of buildings. Up to you, but don't, you don't have time to do much and no one's expecting miracles. Regardless of how this plays out, I'm glad you stumbled in here when you did. Stepping out into the cold air refreshes, refreshes you. You look around and are surprised to see stragglers crossing the bridge. Can't believe it, can you, Kramer says, walking among the dozen fighters you sent with him. One of these days, all you all of you will realize there's only one thing tougher than an old Varl ward leader on a mission. The ravens look look or the ravens around him look tired, but happy to have made it. You grab a handful of snow and squeeze it in your fist until a trickle of water falls to the ground. A silent tribute to your ravens who didn't make it. Get more renown. Reach old Oldorf with at least 20 Varl. Well, we got 23, so I guess that's that. Uh, I guess we'll go to the market. We're going to have to buy food. It's unfortunate, but we're going to have to spend all of our renown on food that we can. I hate it, but it is what it is. Although losing some fighters would actually be a... Honestly, maybe that would have been the better idea. Not get food. Trim down my forces a bit and go from there. Um... Go to the houses. Walking among the buildings, a few ravens will introduce you to a carpenter from the town. Easy enough to bring a few of these homes and barns down, he says, pointing with a hammer. If you and your ravens will help me cart some of the materials from them, we'll make it so any force coming across that bridge will pay dearly. Get started. We don't have time with, to do much else. Right away, the carpenter says, we'll start here. A few hours later, stake walls are in place as the dredge arrive. They, they might not save us, you tell Falka, but we'll be able to kill a few more than before. The shield made in tightened straps on her armor while glaring at you with red-rimmed eyes. If you've got something to say, say it. We'll be dead before long. We don't have to be. We could leave right now. Whoever's after us will roll through here without slowing. We'd be caught in the open. Then we can leave that cart here. Let the dredge have it. I gave an oath to... My oath... An oath isn't worth all of our lives. Uh, that's exactly what an oath is worth. In the following silence, you see Focus eyes brim with tears. I don't want to die. Not yet. And I don't want you to die either. Talk like this is forbidden in the company, but you turn your head, giving her a moment to collect herself. What would you do if the person you followed for years was no longer the same? I'd kill over the, kill him and take over? You want to try? I'm trying to figure out what's happening to me. You said yourself we'll be dead soon. What have you come up with? There's a voice in my head growing louder. I've been fighting to keep it quiet. Bellower's voice, probably. But Bellower's dead. His body. He's asleep. I think the arrow keeps him that way. Vulcan nods. The conclusion doesn't seem too far-fetched for her. These dreams are things he's seen. The Valka did something to betray him. They were working with the Sunder? I think so, but this has more to do with Ivan and Juno. They did something, something bad. I don't even think Zephyr knows what they did. The two of you look over at Zephyr. The Valka stares into a fire, lost in thought. So what does all of this mean? Uh, it means don't trust Valka. But Zephyr said Juno was killed for, some, for controlling the minds of others. She could probably make people trust her, not me. A scout's horn interrupts you, signal, signaling all fighters to the bridge. If we make it through this, someone in Manahar is going to answer to, to me. You storm off to the fighting, building your rage with each step. Ulver always acts as the ravens expect. Keep your wits. The immensity of the dredge force standing just across the bridge is both terrifying and wondrous. Their droning sounds shake the ground and you wonder if the old ford can withstand it. Fear is strong in the air. You faintly hear some humans running away, but your ravens stand firm against the impossible odds. You grant yourself a moment of pride for that. Suddenly, the tall wall of dredge warriors begin to move. Uh, that's not good. Maybe we start with Bulk uh, Bulwark, actually. Um... Something like that, maybe. I'll just start with Zephyr to help her put some runes out. Not a terrible idea.
I'm gonna do something like this. Spark and push some people back uh, in the in the queue, and then everybody else can kind of do their thing. Yeah, I think this will work. Is that Nichols? But he's dead. Don't be fooled. That isn't Nichols, but Eyeless. Great. I have you come around that way. Try to have you guys come around this way, I guess. It's actually a pretty tough group of dredge here, and this this group over here on this side of things is not very strong. I actually know what to do here. I think I'm just going to rest and give up, fill up her stuff back up again. I suppose the one positive is there's so many of them that they are going to be kind of slow to act, right? Both these guys are pretty weak now. That's going to help a little bit. Don't know that I actually want you to summon anybody this time. Uh, I feel like it's going to be hard enough as is.
<laughs> so archers are not very helpful, are they? I'm afraid you would kill him, but it's alright. Oh, the music is still loud. I thought I turned it down. Um, I guess we'll keep insulting kind of whoever's the strongest that's in range right now. Appears to be this guy still. I mean, I could one-shot this guy with 11. Maybe that's okay. I could also just kill this guy, which I don't know what he would do. I think we kill the guy that's got 11. It's going to take the most strength off the board. Sure if we were close enough for that, but I guess we were. No oh, crit, nice. Everything left is still is pretty weak though, so I think we're okay here. Um. Give you some willpower. I guess we can kind of start cleaning stuff up now. I did not realize there was a crack there. Uh, okay. Well, that's awkward. More deflections. Just rest with you, I guess. I 
All right, get rid of him. Ah, I was gonna say, I didn't think that was gonna be all there was. <laughs> I had a feeling. It felt too easy. Oh, big hit. Same, get rid of most of his shield. He'll have basically nothing left. Should be able to do a big chunk of, sh of attack damage there. Not quite far enough. Um, I mean, we can give you a little bit more range, but I don't think it's still not going to be enough. Is it? Oh, it is actually. All right, never mind. Oh no, more. Okay. Eyeless falls to the ground. Suddenly the chaotic sound of battle qu quieten. Sounds of battle quieten. And the surrounding dredge lower the weapons in shock. A group of dredge guards breaks through the crowd and begin lifting Eyeless's body. Then you see her arm move. The Sunder is still alive. There is a chance to finish Eyeless if you and a few others are willing to risk charging the dredge. There's no telling what will happen if she's allowed to recover. But you feel a pang of sadness at the thought of killing her. My guess is they, I mean, they're not killable, right? Are they? Then we're going to move. We're going we're to escape. While Alice is carried back into her ranks, you're wounded or dragged back toward the town. Probably a mistake. We'll find out. <laughs> Chunk of renown. All right, we're going to put a cut in there. When we come back, we'll figure out how big of a mistake it was to let her live. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout-out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.